Hey friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Mastery. Today in this video, let's discuss about the concrete mix design for M40 grade concrete using IS4562000 and IS10262-2019 with step-by-step -step procedure. So without any delay, let's start now. Before starting the calculation, let's see what are all the required data for concrete mix design. Grade designation is M40. Type of cement and grade of cement is OPC 43 grade. That is ordinary Portland cement 43 grade. Maximum nominal size of aggregate is 20 mm. Exposure condition is very severe as per IS456 table 3. Minimum cement content is 340 kg per meter cube. Workability in terms of slump that is 100 mm. Transportation time is 30 minutes. Method of placing concrete is pumping. Standard deviation is 5 Newton per millimeter square. Type of coarse aggregate is crushed angular aggregate. Maximum cement content is 450 kg per meter cube as per IS456 class number 8.2.4.2. Water cement ratio is 0.45 as per IS456 table 5. Fine aggregate is zone. Next, let's look into test data of material. Specific gravity of cement is 3.16. Specific gravity of fine aggregate is 2.46. Specific gravity of coarse aggregate is 2.73. Specific gravity of water is 1. Admixture type is super plasticized. So these are all the required data which we need to know before starting the calculation of mix design. I have already uploaded few videos regarding mix design. Like why do we need to do the mix design? introduction of mix design and mix design for concrete grade m20 and m30 i'll give you all those links in the description box please do watch that it will be very helpful for you next let's look into the steps involved in mix design first one is target strength water cement ratio water content calculation of cement content aggregate proportion between coarse aggregate and fine aggregate and finally mix calculation so it is very easy if you understand the concepts clearly and you have to follow the course properly first step is target strength so there is a formula to calculate this target strength f dash ck is equal to fck plus 1.65 s or fck plus x so among these two whichever is the higher value that we need to consider fck plus 1.65 s or fck plus x here F, F dash CK is the target mean compressive strength at 28 days. S is the standard deviation. This S is the standard deviation. And as per IS 10262 2019 table 2 page number 3. So let's see in the code. So here in table 1 we have the value of X. So for grade of concrete M40 we have the X value as 6.5. Similarly let's check the standard deviation. So in table 2, grade of concrete is M40. For M40, it is 5. 5 is the standard deviation. 5 Newton per mm square. S is 5 Newton per millimeter square. And similarly, from table 1, X is the factor based on grade of concrete as per table 1. That is 6.5 Newton per millimeter square. So F dash CK is equal to 40. 40 is the compressive strength of concrete. So we, here we are having the grade of concrete as M40. 40 plus 1.65 multiplied by 5. 5 is the standard deviation which is equal to 48.25 Newton per millimeter square. Next F dash CK is equal to 40 plus 6.5. F dash CK is equal to 40 plus X. So this formula we need to apply. 40 plus X is 6.5 Newton per millimeter square. So that comes around. 46.5 Newton per millimeter square. So among these two value, we need to consider the higher value. So let's consider F dash CK as 48.25 Newton per millimeter square. F dash CK is target mean compressive strength. So our compressive strength at 28 days shall not be less than 48.25 Newton per mm square. So this much strength we need to get at 28 days. One is water cement ratio. So exposure condition is very severe. IS 456 2000 table 3 page number 20. Exposure conditions are given in table 5 IS 456 2000. So our case is very severe. For this minimum cement content is 340 kg per meter cube. Maximum water cement ratio is 0.45. 
minimum grade of concrete is m30 so maximum water cement ratio is 0.45 that means our water cement ratio should not exceed 0.45 and similarly minimum grade of concrete is m35 that means for very severe condition at least we should use minimum grade of concrete as m35 grade but here we have taken as m40 grade water cement ratio is 0.45 it can be reduced as we have seen the water cement ratio cannot be increase more than 0.45 because this is the maximum water cement ratio for this exposure condition but it can be reduced since we use admixture as we have seen in our test data of materials we use admixture as a super plasticizer so we can reduce the water cement ratio by 0.05 so our water cement ratio will become 0.4 so this is a trial and error method only so we can reduce the water cement ratio by 0.05 this i'll tell you this is a trial and error method so we get 0.4 so always you have to remember that if you use less water then you will get more strength less water means more strength so this 0.05 i'll explain you while calculating the proportion of aggregates so we need to consider water cement ratio as 0.4 First step is water content as per IS 10262 table number 4 page number 5 20 mm aggregate for 20 mm aggregate 186 kg is the water content for 50 mm slump so let's check in the code table 4 water content per cubic meter of concrete for nominal maximum size of aggregate so there are three sides of aggregate water content is 208 186 165 for 20 mm aggregate we have the water content as 186 kg and here there is a condition for, for the desired workability other than 50 mm slump the required water content may be increased or decreased by about 3 percent for each increase or decrease of 25 mm slump or may be established by trial that means the whatever the water content given here is for 50 mm slump the 186 is here no 186 kg is for 50 mm slump so other than 50 mm slump if it is a 25 mm slump or if it is a 75 mm slump or if it is a 100 mm slump the required water content may be increased by about 3 percent for each increase or decrease of 25 mm slump for example if it is a 25 mm slump that means it is decreased 125 mm from this 50 mm slump so we have to reduce 3 percent from this value for example if it is a 75 mm slump then it is increased the slump value is increased 125 mm slump that means each 25 mm slump we have to increase or decrease right so if it is increased above 50 mm then we have to increase by 3 percent the water content we have to increase by 3 percent this one we have to understand very clearly our slump value is 100 mm the water content is given for only 50 mm slump so extra 50 mm is there so for that for every 25 mm increase in slump we have to add 3 percent so here we have 2 25 mm slump extra so for that we have to add 3% plus 3% that is 6% so 186 is the value given in the code that is for 50 mm slump so we have another 50 mm slump extra that is total we have 100 mm slump so that is why here we are adding 6% of 186 so we will get 197 kg and again for super plasticizer we can reduce this one by 20% that is also given in the code so here the water so calculated can be reduced by use of chemical admixture conforming to IS9103 water reducing admixture or super plasticizing admixture usually decrease water content by 5 to 10 percent and 20 to 30 percent and above respectively at appropriate dosages water reducing admixture means 5 to 10 percent we can reduce super plasticizing admixture means we can reduce 20 to 30 percent of water content super plasticizer we can reduce 20 percent so 197 minus 20 percent of 197 is equal to 157.6 kg 
water content is 157.6 kg so this we can even convert into liters that is 157.6 liters so this is the water content we require fourth step is calculation of cement content water cement ratio is equal to water content divided by cement content from this we can find out the cement content we know the water content and water cement ratio cement content is equal to water content by water cement ratio so water content is 157.6 kg water cement ratio is 0.4 cement content is equal to 157.6 divided by 0.4 which is equal to 394 kg per meter cube so that is greater than 340 kg per meter 340 kg per meter cube is the minimum cement content for the exposure condition very severe so our cement content value is greater than that and it is not exceeding the maximum cement content value of 450 kg per meter cube as per IS 456-2000. So our cement content value is 394 kg per meter cube. With this step we need to find out the aggregate proportion between coarse aggregate and fine aggregate. For IS 10262 table 5 page number 6 class 5.5.1 for zone 2 the value is 0.62. Let's check in the course. In table 5, volume of coarse aggregate per unit volume of total aggregate for different zones of fine aggregate for water cement or water cementaneous material ratio of 0.5 is given. So, aggregate size is 20 mm. Zone 2, we have the value as 0.62. This for the water cement ratio of 0.5. So, here we are having one condition that is given in class number 5.5.1. Water cement or water cementaneous material ratio of 0.5 which is given in table 5 which may be suitably adjusted for other ratios. The proportion of volume of coarse aggregate to that of total aggregate is increased at the rate of 0 0.01 for every decrease in water cement or cementaneous material ratio by 0 0.05 and decreased at the rate of 0 0.01 for every increase in water cement ratio by 0.05 so it is very easy if you understand clearly if the water cement ratio is 0.5 then we can take the value as it is which is given in the table but we will not be getting 0.5 as a water cement ratio all the time somewhere we will get water cement ratio as 0.45 and sometimes we get water cement ratio as 0.4 so in that case if the water cement ratio is decreased 0 0.05 then we have to increase 0 0.01 to that value if the water cement ratio is increased by 0 0.05 that means from 0.5 it is if it is increased 0 0.05 then we need to reduce the value by 0 0.01 let me show in the calculation so that you can understand easy so for zone 2 0.62 is the value from table that is for the water cement ratio of 0.5 so for every 0 0.05 decrease we have to increase the value increase this value by 0 0.01 so our water cement ratio is 0.4 so we need to find out the ratio like 0.4 my 0.5 is this water cement ratio 0.5 minus 0.4 divided by 0 0.05 that means two times we need to increase by 0 0.01 to this value once again i'll repeat the water cement ratio which is given in the table is 0.5 we have the water cement ratio is 0.4 so the difference is 0.1 we are getting here and we need to find out how much times we need to increase so for that we are dividing by 0 0.05 we get 2 that means two times we need to add 0 0.01 to this value so 0.62 plus 0 0.01 so this is for 1.05 decrease so here we have two times 0 0.05 decrease from 0.5 so that is why we are adding two times 0 0.01 plus 0 0.01 because the difference between 0.5 and 0.4 is 0.1 so we get 0.64 as the value for pumpable concrete coarse aggregate can be reduced up to 10% so this is also given in the code 
it may be desirable to reduce the estimated coarse aggregate content determined using table 5 up to 10% so up to 10% we can reduce for pumpable concrete volume of coarse aggregate is equal to 0.64 minus 10% of 0.64 which is 0.576 from this we can find out the volume of fine aggregate volume of fine aggregate is equal to 1 minus 0.576 that is 0.4 last step is mix calculation per unit volume of concrete volume of concrete is 1 meter cube volume of cement we need to calculate that is mass of cement divided by mass density we know the mass of cement as 394 kg per meter cube 3.16 is the specific gravity of cement multiplied by 1000 so we get 0.125 meter cube volume of water mass of water divided by mass density as we know the mass of water is 157.6 kg mass density is specific gravity multiplied by 1000 specific gravity of water is 1 we get the value as 0.1576 meter cube next we need to calculate the volume of admixture mass of admixture divided by mass density so here mass of admixture we need to take it as 1.1% of cement mass divided by mass density specific gravity of admixture is 1.12 multiplied by 1000 so we get the value as 0.00386 meter cube mass of admixture is 1.1% of cement so this value is 1.1% of mass of cement this is the assumption 1.1% of mass of cement is the mass of admixture next we need to find out volume of all in aggregate 1 minus b plus c plus d b is volume of cement c is volume of water d is volume of admixture so we get the value as 0.713 we need to find out the mass of coarse aggregate volume of all in aggregate multiplied by volume of coarse aggregate multiplied by specific gravity of coarse aggregate multiplied by 1000 so this is the formula to find out the mass of coarse aggregate so volume of all in aggregate we know 0.713 volume of coarse aggregate is 0.576 this we have calculated already in the aggregate proportion between fine aggregate and coarse aggregate and specific gravity of coarse aggregate is 2.73 multiplied by 1000 so we get 1121 kg next we need to find out mass of fine aggregate volume of all in aggregate multiplied by volume of fine aggregate multiplied by specific gravity of fine aggregate multiplied by 1000 so we get the value as 744 kg we know the volume of fine aggregate is 0.424 and specific gravity is 2.46 mass of fine aggregate is 744 kg so let's see the summary cement is 394 kg per meter cube water is 157.6 kg per meter cube fine aggregate is 744 kg per meter cube coarse aggregate is 1121 kg per meter cube this we can uh, divide into 20 mm is 60% and 10 mm is 40% admixture is 4.3 334 kg per meter cube that is 1.1% of cement as i have told you before we can uh, assume the admixture value as 1.1% of cement so 1.1% of 394 kg per meter cube is 4.334 kg per meter cube water cement ratio is 0.4 let's find out the ratio cement is 394 and fine aggregate 744 coarse aggregate 1121 and water is 157.6 so from this we can find out the ratio cement is 1 fine aggregate is 1.88 coarse aggregate is 2.84 and water is 0.4 this is the mix ratio for m40 grade of concrete for very severe condition we can write this one as 1 is to 1.88 is to 2.84 that means one portion of cement 1.88 portion of fine aggregate 2.84 portion of coarse aggregate and water cement ratio is 0.4 friends i hope you all like this video please do comment in the comment box your comments are always welcome don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos Thank